exotic National Cat Day haul. At least according to World Golf Day. <laughs> and they're like, every day's a day to be worshipped. Is that true? Happy National Cat Day! And appropriately wearing my one of, one of my kitty tops. So, this is just sort of a random hodgepodge of things over the course of a few weeks and some things I got on Amazon because I want things. <laughs> but so I have things hooked up so I'm not going to show you. Here is my new PS3. So I am almost in the gaming community. <laughs> so I've been hoarding different games from GameStop. So as I had to take Grandma out to do her thing, I figured, well, she can take a ride. So I went to GameStop, grabbed a few more games. So all the ones that between Angry Joe, Dance Co. 8, and Gamer's Little Playground, I get introduced to all these like really cool games. So it's like, okay, you know, I love the game movies, and you know, so I know the stories. But it's different. It's a different monster when you're playing through the game because you know the game cutscenes are only like a tiny percentage of the game. So I'm working on South Park Stick of Truth. I loved that. I've got all the Uncharted, except for the fourth one, obviously. Um, I wanted to get my hands on the Final Fantasy, so I'm accumulating the Final Fantasies. And I've got like the classic ones, which I like to play on my PS Vita. Again, used both from Amazon. <laughs> so, And I love the care that this person took with the packaging. I mean, I've gotten more expensive, newer electronics. They just stuffed in an envelope. I mean, this was like packaging within packaging. And it came with the card and everything, so... I've been loving this, and the fact that these two talk to each other is awesome. So I've got most of the Final Fantasy now. But I want 15, but unfortunately that's on the 4. Not interested in the online ones. I'm just not feeling 12. The one that they just redid for Zodiac Age? Meh. And 10-2, not 10-2, 13-2 did not need to happen. Probably not going to bother with 10-2, even though it's not 10. So I've been enjoying my uh, Final Fantasy fetishes. <laughs> So yes, <laughs> so this is the newest bunch of the collection here, and this I saw through uh, Angry Joe's review, and it looked pretty interesting, L.A. Noir, and it's kind of like one of those telltale stories, I think, so seems pretty cool. A dark and violent crime thriller set against the backdrop of 1940s Los Angeles, and I've seen different snippets and stuff, so pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to that. I got Deus Ex Human Revolution, where I'm not quite sure if it's like the third game or something like that. And I, again, heard that through Angry Joe. Seemed pretty good. Looked kind of interesting. It was like 4 for 20. No, 4 for 10. So, what the hell. And I picked up Lego Dimensions, but I wanted the game because the movie was funny. But apparently you need like Legos... Like a physical thing to get the ah, it was a pain in the ass. So, I ended up getting Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Assassin's Creed Two. Uh, both I can deal with Ezio. So, these are good. And I was having my heart set upon Dragon Age Inquisition. So all I could find was like the digital one. But no, I got this. But this was actually ten bucks. They just put it in that particular case. So I got all these for twenty bucks. I will be quite happy. So needless to say, that's why I haven't gotten many book reviews. I'm too busy playing these. And again, I love my PS Vita. I'm, I'm playing World of Final Fantasy now, and I got that through Amazon. And Microsoft paid for half of it. So I'll save that in just in case. Okay. Mm. Work for me. Mm. And I was kind of looking... I know, it's just one of those random sort of videos, it's like, should you buy a PS Vita in 2017? And it's like, well, people have, like, smartphones, and I'm like, I have, like, the original, very first Final Fantasy for, like, the phone, but the interface sucks. Now, you know, my phone's, that's my phone. <laughs> it's kind of teeny tiny, but I, you know, for playing games, if you're doing, like, swiping games, or you're doing something like, um, what's that one where you jump off the bridge there? <laughs> Temple Run. 
that type of game works for the you know phone but things like Final Fantasy or a fighting game you want the interface you know of a handheld controller so you know and it's still relevant and the Vita actually connects to the 4 so I still say it still has a life it's worth getting I love my Vita so that is my drooling over my <laughs> stuff this is the stuff I got to well and this I've been they had them in a glass case apparently somebody must have donated the case and there's two of them and they wanted 20 bucks a piece which was kind of steep and I knew one of these was like $16 brand new and at least on the uh, Amazon and it's about you know what you'd pay for you know at like the Renaissance Fair so I'm like I'm gonna wait and see if they're half off I'll pay 10 for them one got sold but I got this one and then I had a five dollar card besides so <laughs> I waited and it got half off and the art on this is so freaking cool you can see that so and this actually came out of Connecticut Stamford Connecticut the only thing that's missing is the custom spreadsheet which is like a, a map big whoop but all the cards are there in the booklet but the artwork is so freaking cool so I'm very happy so I don't know who's been donating these things but another one for my collection and I love just the look of these cards they're just beautiful and apparently he takes like photographs of different things and he manipulates it in like Photoshop so it's like fantasy based on reality type of thing so so it's just really 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 cool so I had to have one of those and they saved one for me and I, I waited <laughs> and this I got at the library once and I wanted it now I have it as if, if you guys aren't enough <laughs> so I can knit my own cat only problem is I hate working with double sided needles <laughs> so I bet you these be much more better behaving than you should I, should I knit a Siamese that'd be cool come on look at that how could I not want that look at that that's the cutest little thing ever mm. so yes I had to have this it looks really new I think I'm pretty sure it came out of the library and I just sort of looked at it and I'm like, oh, double-edged needles. But now, I got it. <sighs> now we have to feed him in a little pan. And for the boring stuff, I picked this up today as I had to go back to do other stuff. So this this will be a Christmas present for, for him. <laughs> of course, I had to get that. It was three bucks. That's hefty glass, though be good for like scissors or something so put it in the washing machine should be good mini a pint of beer came out the year 2000 back in the good days of NASCAR so it's kind of a chore to watch now and I picked this up and my nephew had it and I'm like so jealous because it's like I want everything in his closet come on how could I not get this and he only charged me $2.99 so it was like three bucks and it fits perfect and they're so nice and cuddly for the winter, so come on, that this is so cool. So I'm happy now. I finally possess. <laughs> I was hoping that my sister would kind of like dump, you know, and let me have some of his second hands, but I don't know what happened to his clothing. So, you know, once he outgrows them, type of stuff. It comes in handy being a hobbit, so you can fit into like younger kids' clothing. Then I picked these up during Dollar Day, but I don't. I almost think I have a pair similar to these. And they're a pair of shorts, but they kind of have like a covering like this, so I can get away with wearing shorts. <laughs> and they're quite comfy; they fit perfect. So I, I was happy. So this this is a way for my butt to do shorts, so you can be nice and cool in shorts, yet still have you know <laughs> at least a dignified shape to your person, because my ass don't belong in shorts. That's why hobbits wear like half pants, because do you want to see a hobbit in shorts? And the last thing I got was, I think, the same day I got that for another dollar. And he's like, wow, is this real leather? A real leather jacket. In red, mind you. For a buck. And I like the one that I've got, which is, it's not the suede, it's the other kind of leather. Vinyl leather? I don't know. The other leather that's not suede. Which is a nice fall jacket, because it's got these kind of sleeves, and I wore that a lot. So it's nice to have a red one. For a freaking dollar. 
I love the smell of leather. That's wrong, right? <laughs> in the stainy. So, I was quite happy to find that. So, that is sort of my hodgepodge haul. And I've got so many kind of backlogged and not having a lot of time to kind of, you know, pop a squat and film. <laughs> got it, got edited up what's on the camera now. So that's why I've been kind of, of course, by the time you see this, you probably would have known, I've kind of interspersed, you know, ancient hall, book review, ancient hall, whatever review, so I've kind of stretched it out a little more, just because real life happens, <sighs> and you lose brain cells hanging out with grandma. <laughs> so, that's all the excitement I have to report thus far. <laughs> so, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share, do all the youtube -y things. And always remember, there's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye.